the embassy is the face of America, the American flag, uh, down to the, the, the people, a one-on-one -on -one interpersonal relationship that you establish. Uh, it's our opportunity to, to show what America is. In Afghanistan, the U.S. Embassy operates under constant threat of attack by the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, and other terrorist groups. Here in Afghanistan, we were already at a very heightened state of security. Every single day, I expect that we could be attacked. Protecting the U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan requires the latest physical and technical security measures. Coming to Afghanistan, you know, using a baseball term, is like going to the show. It's the biggest game in town. Several rings of security barriers and checkpoints surround the compound. The concentric circles are part of our very robust uh, physical security to stop outside threats. Afghanistan security forces control the first checkpoint. That's because the embassies operate under the 1961 Vienna Convention of Diplomatic Relations, which stipulates that the host nation has a special duty to protect the premises of the mission. Drivers entering the embassy encounter a carefully planned obstacle course that prevents a vehicle from picking up speed. At one checkpoint, guards working for diplomatic security use dogs and mirrors to look for explosives. Another checkpoint is reinforced with steel gates. There is also a pop-up roadblock that can shear a vehicle in half. It's always a chess game against insurgents. As they do, say, bring a, a larger truck bomb, the outer rings of, of security are designed to help mitigate uh, those extra type of threats. So we do plan for just about any eventuality and how to counter it here. Everyone is individually screened before being allowed inside the embassy compound. The entrance into the Chancery, the main office building of the embassy, is manned by U.S. Marines. Within the inner sanctum of the Chancery is a state-of-the-art communication center that monitors the embassy 24-7.